United Nations prison rules and then what are called the Nelson Mandela rules apply in all detention cases and how in this case it seems on the face of it that in fact the Bahrain authorities have not respected uh, human rights or basic uh, detention standards. Uh, in particular in relation to the uh, failure to provide medical evidence, we've seen a statement from the Bahrainian authorities saying that they have inspected um, Mr. Mishima and he has refused to go, refused six medical appointments. However, we have had no independent verification of that and it seems on the face of it that that is in fact not, uh, not correct. Medical treatment is a fundamental right of any detained person and in particularly somebody of uh, his age who has deteriorating health conditions. And it is commonplace for totalitarian regimes and others to uh, refuse medical treatment, delay medical treatment or uh, string out medical treatment until it is uh, worthless so that the person in detention suffers uh, far more than an ordinary person might do uh, who is on the outside and, and not in prison. Fundamental rights uh, provide not only uh, basic guarantees of space, access to food, clean water and light, but also basic medical uh, attention. In, in this case, we've seen a failure of the Bahraini authorities to engage in, in any way but with the complaints uh, raised in relation to the medical conditions, in relation to the treatment required, uh, <coughs> and in those circumstances, it, it seems that they are fun further punishing Mr. Mishima by, by withholding that medical treatment rather than complying uh, both with international law obligations and, and fundamental principles of human rights. Um, I think that's probably all I need, all I need to... to, to explained to you today, apart from to say that it, it seems it's very worrying uh, that this, in spite of being raised in the international context, being raised today, has uh, and previously has seen no change in position by the.